hello students welcome to hari chemistry so today topic uh, we will discuss the limitations of uh, crystal field theory okay clear student so we will discuss limitations of uh, crystal field theory so we will discuss one by one so the crystal field theory is uh, very much familiar theory than the valency bond theory so crystal field theory is a very much familiar theory than the valency bond theory okay so the crystal field theory successfully explains the magnetic momentum of various metal complexes and the color properties of metal complexes and uh, uh, hybridization and geometry of the metal complexes but some demerits are there so we will discuss the demerits or or limitations of crystal field theory okay right so the first point is crystal field theory the first point is the crystal field theory considering the splitting of metal d orbitals only it does not consider the orbitals of metal s orbital and p orbital clear so the crystal field theory consider the crystal field theory considering the splitting of metal d orbitals only metal d orbitals only and not consider and not consider other orbitals of other orbitals of metal such as yes and p orbitals yes and p orbital so crystal field theory mainly focus on only the splitting of metal d orbitals only so it cannot explain the other orbitals in metal complexes metal atom like yes and p orbital so means here so this is the d orbitals this is the d orbital so here we have orbital p orbitals and s orbital is also there so s orbital is also there so but the crystal field theory mainly focus on splitting of metal d orbitals only when the ligands are approached to the metal atom so the degeneracy of these metal d orbitals are lifted and splits into different energy levels but what about these s and p orbitals was not given by crystal field theory so that is the limitation of crystal field theory okay right so the second demerit is the second demerit demerit of crystal field theory that is so crystal field theory crystal field theory was not explained was not explained the relative strength of the relative strength of ligands in spectrochemical series in spectrochemical series spectrochemical series clear so here the ligand strength was not explained by crystal field theory i will write the some spectrochemical series data that is i minus less than br minus less than cl minus less than no3 minus less than f minus less than oh minus less than h2o less than h2o less than nh3 is equal to pyridine less than ethylene diamine less than ortho phenanthracene less than cn minus less than co so these are the ligands so these are the increasing order of spectrochemical series so means what is spectrochemical series the arrangement of different ligands in their increasing or decreasing of their field strength is known as a spectrochemical series right here so these are the 
weak field ligand so these are the weak field ligand so these are the weak field ligand so then only these are the strong field ligands strong field ligands strong field ligand so generally what what is strong field and what is weak field means nothing but if the metal atom is surrounded by the weak field ligands if the metal atom is surrounded by the weak field ligand the splitting magnitude value will be less if the ligands are surrounded by the strong field ligand the splitting magnitude value will be large so for example here so these are the metal d orbitals these are the five set of metal d orbital so these metal d orbitals are surrounded by the strong field ligand so what will happen so here the splitting magnitude value of from higher energy to lower energy the energy gap will be more so it is happened when the strong field ligands st strong field ligand so this the more splitting magnitude value will be obtained from when the metal atom is surrounded by the strong field ligand you can see here so this is the splitting pattern so here so you can observe the splitting magnitude value of here here and here so this is the energy gap between this and this this is the energy gap will be less so this energy gap is obtained so due to the weak field ligand so this happening so due to the weak field ligand so why the splitting magnitude value was not were able to explain the relative strength of a ligand okay so for example here we will take an example so this is a oh minus and water molecule so we will take oh minus and water molecule so generally according to the spectrochemical series the water molecule has stronger than the oh minus the o water molecule has stronger than the oh minus so here i will write the 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 importance between oh minus and water molecule here i will write here so this is the water molecule so this is the metal ion so this is the metal atom the metal atom is surrounded by the oh minus so this is oh minus it is negatively charged here it is negatively charged ligand so this is negatively charged ligand clear student right so here it is so here the o and hydrogen and hydrogen so this is it is not negatively charged ligand so it is a neutral ligand so we know very well according to the crystal field theory the interaction between metal and ligand it leads to the formation of a ionic bond so here it is a ionic bond here also it forms a, so this is the metal atom so this is the metal atom so with positive charge so it develops some ionic bond here so but here it is not uh, negatively charged ligand it is a neutral charged neutral ligand so here some it develops some negative charge partial negative charge and partial positively charge okay right so here so this negative charge is present on the oh minus but there is no negative charge over here so it is a, it is not highly magnitude negatively charged it is high magnitude negative charge so it is a, oh minus is high magnitude high magnitude negative charge high magnitude negative charge high magnitude negative charge so it is not high magnitude negative charge so due to this high magnitude negative charge so generally the charge will be more according to the coulomb law so if the charge will be more so if the charge will be more the force will be more if the force will be more so repulsion is increases repulsion will be more so the repulsions will be more the splitting is more the splitting is more so in case of oh minus in case of oh minus whether the metal atom is surrounded by the oh minus ligand so the more negative charge more mag highly magnitude negative charge so due to this high negative magnitude charge what will happen the charge is increases if the charge increases the force increases if the force increases the repulsions high repulsions are possible so due to these high repulsions the splitting magnitude value will be more but in the case of water molecules here you can see so these are the ion ion interactions are possible here in this case ion ion interactions are possible ion ion interactions are there but here so ion dipole interactions are there ion dipole interactions are possible 
ion dipole interaction so generally ion ion interactions are greater than the ion dipole interactions clear student ion ion interactions are greater than the ion dipole interaction here you can see so it it cannot develop high magnitude charge over here so therefore the charge will be less not completely less charge will be less if the charge will be less the force will be less if the force will be less so therefore less repulsions are exist so less repulsions repulsions will be less if the results repulsions will be less therefore the splitting will be less so therefore here the h2o molecule has less magnitude than the oh minus but according to the spectrochemical series the h2o is a strong field ligand than the oh minus so why it happens so it was not explained by the crystal field theory so this is the second limitation of crystal field theory okay clear student right so then we will move to the third point the crystal field theory was not explained the nature of pi bonding ligands in transition metal complexes it cannot explain so the crystal field theory the crystal field theory was not explained was not explained explained the nature of the nature of pi bonding ligands pi bonding ligands pi bonding ligands in transition metal complexes in transition metal complexes okay so for example pi pi bond formation ligand like co is a pi bonding formation ligand no c2h4 so these type of ligands can form multiple bonds with the metal atom so here if the co can attach with the metal atom here so you can see here the the bond between so these metal atom here so these type of bonds are established or if the metal atom is surrounded if, if metal atom is attached with the ethylene molecule here so the multiple bonds are there here the multiple bonds are there so but these multiple bonds are the pi bonding nature of ligands was not able to explain by the crystal field theory so this is the another demerit of crystal field theory okay clear student so crystal field theory was not explained the nature of pi bonding ligand so because the crystal field theory mainly focus on only the interaction between metal and ligand is completely 100% it is 100% it is ionic in nature but it cannot consider what about the pi bond will be there if the double bond will be there so there is no idea about the nature of double bonded ligands with the metal atom so this is the another demerit of crystal field theory okay clear student right so then we will move to the another another demerit of crystal field theory the crystal field theory the crystal field theory was not explained was not explained the color properties the color properties of metal complexes color properties of metal complexes due to charge transfer spectra charge transfer spectra charge transfer spectra so this is another demerit of crystal field theory so because here you can see generally this is the metal d orbitals this is the metal d orbital for example the one electron will be there in the d orbital so when the ligands are approached to the metal atom so the crystal field is splits into so different energy levels like here you can see so this one electron is placed into here so if these lower energy t2g orbital absorb visible range of radiation it absorb visible range of radiation so these unpaid electron is excited from this energy level so here this energy transition we can called as d2d transition so due to this d2d transition the metal complexes exhibit color properties but the crystal field theory was not explained the color properties of metal complexes due to the charge transfer spectra so this is the another demerit of a crystal field theory okay right so next we will move to the last demerit of a crystal field theory right so the crystal field theory the crystal field theory was not explained 
was not explained was not explained partial covalent characters of covalent characters of metal complexes metal complexes metal complexes so here some of the metal complexes the metal and ligand band has covalent in nature but the crystal field theory consider only the nature of bond between metal and ligand is ionic nature in lonely but some of the metal complexes the nature of bond between metal and ligand is covalent in nature so this phenomena was not explained by the crystal field theory so for example here i will take the square planar complex of ptcl4 to the power of minus 2 so this is so tetrachloro platinate 2 so this square planar complex undergoing nucleophilic substitution reaction one of the chlorine atom is replaced by amine so one of the chlorine is replaced by amine molecule so this is the substitution takes place this is the nucleophilic substitution reaction so but here you can see so this is the nucleophilic substitution means one of the nucleophile is substituted by another nucleophile so then we can say it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction so here the nature of bond between so the platinum and chlorine is covalent in nature covalent in nature so these kind of covalent characteristics was not explained by the crystal field theory so these are the limitations of crystal field theory okay so these are the limitations of crystal field theory okay right clear student is it clear right thank you